They say get in the gym, cuz. I need to get in the gym for. I need to get like right. this shit is set so um uh, Happy New Year's, everybody. Yeah, I've been doing so good. I'm still doing good. You know hear I me? Mean? <clears throat> and it's like, they've been doing so good to the point that. Y'all know usually I never like care what people say I got to say. But it's like I'm to that point where I'm gonna be acknowledged for like <clears throat> all the good I do you hear me? <clears throat> and like the growth. I choose see the you calling me regular. I'm talking about this bitch trying to FaceTime me, you know what I mean? Like, Don't kid me. What's up, brother? Y'all can hear me? Y'all can hear me? Y'all can hear me, man. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep up the good energy. It's like... <clears throat> I don't... Even though that shit be bullshit, <clears throat> I don't like... I don't want nothing to be misinterpreted, like... Like I'm, like I'm doing wrong. You heard me? Cause it's like I'm so much on um, evolving as the like the, the top notch artist that I'm is. You know what I'm saying the top notch human being, the top notch father that I'm is, the top notch son and brother and friend. You know what I'm saying? Um, great service for the community, for larger person, all that shit. And I'm just on positive shit, you know, like positivity and all that. And it's like, I'm, I got my own journey. I got my own testimony, like, I'm still a walk in progress. And, um, I, you know, Trump came through and freed me. Did that, you hear me? I love that man. I appreciate him. Proud, my boy. Eric Trump. Oh, everybody. It's like, so, I really supposed to been still in prison right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would probably, probably would have came home September 2002, 2022. Or um like March 2023. So I say that to say this like around this time <clears throat> around this time like like uh 2020 or like 
2020 motherfucking like New Year's Eve. I remember I was in prison drinking book, you know what I'm saying? I'm drinking prison liquor. On some shit like man, shit. Top of the year 2021, I could be home. And I'd be home. And nobody else knew ain't nobody else knew in the prison that a nigga would come home, going home and shit like that. I'm just vibing in the prison and shit, drinking prison liquor. It's New Year's Eve. So now, motherfucking, um, you know, I came home 120, 21, and shit, since I was 14, like, <clears throat> I ain't never been free a whole year on the streets since I was 14, standing in the night, shit like that. I accomplished so much, homie. I accomplished so much, bro, you know what I'm saying? And do the shit here and there. But I know God, he gonna fell the rain and shit. He the most greatest, you heard me? And shit, my higher power that I serve. And, um, you know, got a greater calling, a great calling on my life. What he seeing me, I don't know. <clears throat> but, anyway. Shit, you know, like I said, I ain't never been free a whole year since I was 14, and it ain't all that over with. That's over with, nigga, breaking that. And uh, if y'all don't care, y'all ain't out of listening and shit. This for my people who probably wonder, like, damn, what the fuck happened? I ain't out to explain shit, because I don't usually don't care. But right now, like I say, I'm more on evolving as a, as a man, as an artist, and all that. And to the people who probably think a nigga tripping anyway, so I guess that was to show me like you know it's a blessing and a lesson. Like that was to show me like man, see, sat me down right quick, cause that wasn't nothing like nigga whoop whoop took a picture and that shit was over with. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't nothing. Like the fuck all that over. All that's over with. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That ain't my destiny. I know that. Right? And all that's over with, homie. Anyway, like I was saying, like, that was a short nigga, like, that's why I still could have been. Like, I could have still been in the jail cell. You know what I'm saying? I could have still been in the jail cell on this new year. It wasn't nothing to punish me. It wasn't nothing to... None of that. You know what I'm saying? That was a, to open my eyes and make me more grateful. Make me more thankful that I'm, I'm near this home. I get to spend my New Year's with my family and all that shit. And make me realize, like, shit, I could have still been in prison to this day. You know I mean? And that I don't want to have my year in jail. I don't want to be out here tripping, doing fuck shit to Go to jail this year. Go to prison this year. Um, and to show me, like, man, you know what? 2022, on whatever plans that I got for this year and everything that I'm trying to do, that I'm finna do, you know what? Stay out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Because everything that I was trying to do, I always keep the hood in my midst. I always stay to slide back through the hood. I don't need to be through that, homie. I don't need to be through that. But how can you tell a nigga who really from the streets, really like doing this shit, really did my shit out here, niggas know what the fuck going on with me, homie. And nigga can't never bash me, never say, oh, I can't come back to the hood. Never gonna say, oh, yeah, he ain't never been, he ain't been back to the hood in a long time. Oh, never gonna try me, never gonna what you call it. But all that shit, that over with, you know what I mean? All that shit over with, I ain't got nothing to prove to a nigga. Everything that I, I had to do out here in these streets, it was never proven. It's by, how could you tell a nigga who been in a project majority of their life that they can't come back to where they from, where they learned, where they got all their knowledge at, where they took their first steps, where they... 
everything was right here. You know what I'm saying? Everything was right here. So it ain't never about proving to nobody. Or it ain't never about it's like shit. It's all a nigga know. Even if a nigga ain't coming back on fuck shit. A nigga coming back like shit. All my family out here. I'm just out here zooming. Good time, I guess. But you know, that was just a short nigga like, man, you know what? This a new year. This call for a new you. You know what I'm saying? It's a shit. This a new year. You want some new shit? So you're some certain shit you gotta change. That would I take that as in. Like that wasn't then to punish a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. A lot of shit can always be worse. I done went through worse. You know what I'm saying? Nigga took that shit as in, you know what? A little time. Shit, I got but you still lit. That shit still number one. And I thank God for that shit and all my fans and supporters. Y'all the reason why I'm explaining and talking right now. I ain't mad about nothing. I'm real happy right now. Um I'm thankful for all my family. My fans, my supporters, my kids, you heard me? Hell yeah. And I, I'm I'm very confident that 2022 is going to be a good year. I ain't going to go to jail. <laughs> None of that crazy shit. I'm out here free, I'm blessed, I'm healthy, and I'm wealthy. You know what I mean? That's a lot of shit I want to do. That's a lot of shit I'm going to do. Now, I ain't eat soup today. I, I tell you the truth, I don't like that um soup jumu. I don't like it. I like bouillon. There's a lot of people like that love me. I understand, bro. And it's just like even if I hope nobody mad at me, cause I ain't do nothing, bro. Y'all tell me y'all ain't mad at me and y'all love me. Everybody on the live. I need everybody to come to me and say and come through and be like, man, we ain't mad at you yet. We love you. Please, cause you know, please. Like I ain't sad, I ain't impressed about it, but I just don't want nobody thinking that I'm my here on some fuck up shit, bro. I mean I'm chilling, bro. I'm vibing. And you know I'm just trying to stay out here and and um like you know, produce and and, and, and get all this good music, bro, and this positivity, you know? And that's it, and just be giving back to the hood well the surrounding communities now. Cause I ain't going back to the hood, bro. I I, I guess that's what, like, something to really show me to stay out of the hood, fam. Like, then what just happened with that nigga, um, the other little rapper dude in his hood and shit. I ain't never take nothing. All this shit when, that, when rappers be dying in their hood, I ain't never looked at that to make me stay out of my hood. Because I know, like, everybody love me around here. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I'm on some, like, like, niggas know, like, I get on some gangster shit, but I don't want to be on no gangster shit right now. But anyway, like, you know, that, like, everybody love me, and I love everybody, so I don't be trying to, I don't be thinking that, like, I shouldn't be in the hood. But, but, uh, I guess that was an eye opener to show me, like, man, bitch, I'm, I'm growing up, man. Got people depending on me. This shit more bigger than the hood now. This shit more bigger than me now. You know what I'm saying? Like, just fall back from the hood for a little bit until, like, we get this shit figured out. Until, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Like, just fall back from the hood right quick. The hood gonna always be here. The hood gonna always love you, yet. You know what I'm saying? What well, I took that to be. I ain't take it to be. Or punishment, or to, or to be like a mud shot, or to be like um, Kodak out here, like fucking up. I ain't do nothing. I'm saying, I ain't this shit. The, the only thing I'm mad about, she said I was supposed to be with Kanye last night. I was supposed to be with Ye ass, man. I was the only shit. Me and family, you know, me and the team, supposed to be, supposed to be with Kanye. Not even on no party shit. I see people on some party shit about some business. About some business that Kanye, like, was interested in doing. I ain't gonna speak on it. 
but what Kanye was interested in in, in, in doing this shit. Like, I'm saying. But, like, it wasn't, you know, like, trying to go party, but, you know, he, like, before he came down here, like, weeks ago, he went interested in doing this little business movie and shit. That's the only thing I was kind of, like, tripping about. But, you know, shit, it get greater later. There'll always be more time and at a time for that. But that shit wasn't that nigga running in there. You know I mean? Change I ain't go through motherfucking. And I ain't get no mattress or none of that crazy shit. Just ate me a sandwich and got the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> I love my boy Flo. I love my boy C Dub. You know that already. Love my boy Derek. Just the bag with my shoelaces in. Love everybody. Um, you know, D Mac, Big Fredo, Rico, um, T Tac, Mucci, more people. B Rad. Yeah, it's like, man, y'all let me grow, let me blossom, let me, like, you know what I'm saying? Let me reach my full potential, like, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me do me, fam. Other than that, I just glad, I'm glad to know what's up, Sam Sneak, and y'all ain't mad at a nigga. I know that shit. That's all. I guess I could be happy now. I'm already happy, but I guess I could just buy up. I'm handsome as shit, boy. How am I playing? Made a real cold act, man. What the fuck I did? Man. Uh, she said, you gonna know if the people mad, huh? Mm -hmm. Y'all like my shoes? I got it from Goddess Brown, Goddess. My brother and girlfriend. I like these bitches. Thank you, sis. I'm gonna shit I rip that bit with these jeans. These jeans fall with them. Duh. They fall with these shoes. These jeans. Uh, look, look at the look at the sweater that I'm on there with. So, yeah, oh my God. Yeah, some more people, some more, some more people to say, come through and say, y'all love me, and yeah, y'all not mad. <laughs> oh, I think the sweater too big. Oh man. That is up the trick, up trick. They say when you get out of jail, never went to jail, never went to jail, boy. Yeah, I got the red and black pet pet and patent leather ones. Of course I do. Never went to jail. Who that is? Ooh, somebody else. Huh? 
ไว้หัวเอาไปเอาเลิก